it's me again guys welcome to my channel all right man we got this Nissan Sinta, Nissan Versa customer came in he said um hear some wood bearing noise so we about to test it how we about to test it guys so what I do I put the I lift the whole vehicles up and then I raise the car up I mean enough to to have clearance on the on the on the thing on the wheel so you can spin the wheel let put it on drive spin it hold your hand on the on the spring you can feel that you can feel the vibration like roaring noise you know the that bearing is bad so obviously this one right here I don't feel it much so it's nothing on this one the bearing on this side is good and same thing this one we're gonna try to touch this one here yep I don't feel the I don't feel the bearing on this side also so we know for sure this bearing is good because if the bearing is bad you can feel it like you can feel the vibration from the spring so right now i don't really feel it so i guess the bearing on this side is good yep on. so now we we'll see it. all right we're about to find out guys oh, oh, oh. When you're gonna do that, you just put it on a drive, you know? Make sure you slowly hit the brake when the car's in the air. Don't just, don't just put it in gear. It's gonna mess up the transmission. You just, and also don't just slam on the brake because it's gonna, the car could fall off their lift because of the impact. So you slowly press on the brake, slowly press on the brake. You know, when you hit the brake, when you know your wheels is locked, locked with brakes, and then, then now put it on, now you can shift it. Park. When you shift it apart like that, now you can shut shut the car up. Now we're gonna try to raise the car up now. Raise it up in the air. So we know the front um we know the front bearing is good. So we put on we put it on drive and the bearing I didn't feel the vibration on the bearing. So for sure the bearing is good but the always 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 make sure the wheels is um, nice and tight. Same thing here. Same thing here. The rear, spin as hard as you can. I could hear the bearing. I think it's the left rear one is bad. Spin like that. And then hold it. I could feel it. I could feel the vibration. I totally feel the vibration, guys. I guess that's the problem right there, man. Spin as fast as you can. You go back here. Hold it. Yep. That's the problem, man. Same thing here. Spin it. Feel it. Yep, on both sides. All right, we found a problem, man. That's the problem right there, guys. So, all right, man. So we got it checked out. So the um, so we have this 2014 Nissan Versa 1.6. So he came in for the bearing noise. He thought it was the front. So. Obviously, I show you how to do it, how to test it, how you check it. You just spin the wheel and put your hands on the spring, the coil spring. If you feel the vibration, you know that one's bad, you know. So, so we know the rear bearing is bad. The worst is the left rear side. So you're gonna write it down. So we're just gonna note it. So, so we're gonna go. Both rear wheel bearing is roaring or making a lot of noise and that's it guys all right guys me again so we're gonna finally get the bearing going so we we're just trying to match the bearing now 
trying to make sure is the right one I usually double check the bearing before I install it you know so in case there's a mistake or you know I will return the parts and try to match the right one so if you have any problem finding the parts I got a link below on the description it's more easy to find is you know so all right guys if you want to watch more you how to do this we got it all right all right guys this is the first thing we're gonna do when you're trying to remove this um, bearing so you just gotta need a flathead hammer that um the bearing caps cover slowly um hammer it and then after you do that you're gonna need a 30 millimeter um socket it's like a um, axle nut you just got to remove it and then on the nuts make sure you always re replace the nut with the new one you could buy those I think it's like $5.99 somewhere and then that's the uh, all you gotta do is slide the whole drum out and then inspect the bearing make sure nothing else alright guys we're about to remove this um, C-clip the C-clip is pretty difficult to get it off so make sure you wear your safety glasses and where and then you need the um, flathead and a, um, a C clamp tools and a and a needle nose. And after you do that, after you remove it, you need a socket that will fit the the bearing inside there. So you can use that socket to press it out. So I'm trying to make this quick video how to press the bearing out. Just like that, guys. Just press it out. If you know it's getting harder slow down spray some penetrating oil in it or use the torch to heat them up so now we're gonna try to press it in now so I reuse the old bearing to help me guide the, um, the new bearing in there because so you won't damage the new bearing just like that guys take your time where you take the glasses all the time like I said you never know what could happen after we do that so we'll get the bearings all the way in there now we're going to try to put back the original C-clip. The C-clip is pretty easy to go in then removing it. Stay in case you need it. You need the um, flathead, two flathead, one flathead, and that's it. Just work around it. Make sure you wear your safety glasses because this clip could jump out and hit you in the face. You never know, guys. When it comes to mechanic, you never know what could happen. Just like that, guys. After you, after you see all done, what you gotta do now, put it back in the vehicles, and then you can adjust your rear brakes if you want to. And also, you always make sure you replace the axle nuts, the says the brake nuts, whatever you call it. And then put the cap back in there. After you put the cap back in there, make sure you double test it. You test the uh, the repair. Make sure the noise is gone. It's spin the wheel the same way we did spin it hold this oil spring you don't feel no noise vibration you know you fixed the problem guys that's it man pretty simple quick way to um to fix this vehicle's problem it's a common problem on a nissan